Let's talk about technology. Our tools are only as good or as bad as the person using them. A chainsaw can cut down a rotting tree in your backyard, preventing it from impaling your neighbor's house. Or that same chainsaw can be used to hurt your neighbor, to chop him into tiny little pieces. And a can of paint can beautify your home's facade. Or you could use that same exact paint to graffiti the walls at an otherwise pristine public park. And you know what? The same goes for our technology. We can use Twitter and Pinterest and YouTube to enrich our lives and the lives of others, to communicate and share in ways we've never been able to communicate before. Or we can get stuck in the Bermuda Triangle of social media, careening from Facebook to Instagram to TikTok, lost in the meaningless glow of our ever-glowing screens. Yes, we can use our smartphones to photograph a gorgeous landscape, to message loved ones, and to map out directions to a distant national park, or maybe even to make a phone call. Or we can use that same exact device to distract ourselves, to incessantly check email, to thumb through an endless stream of status updates, to post vapid selfies, or to partake in any of the other non-value adding activities we all participate in today, all while ignoring the beautiful world around us. But here's the bottom line. It is up to us to determine how we use our chainsaws, our paint cans, and our technology. Our tools are just tools, and it is our responsibility to ask important questions about how and why we use them. Because to become a Luddite is to avoid an entire world of possibilities, a better world that's enriched by the tools of technology. If used intentionally, we can change the world with these tools, or we can do a lot of harm. It's an individual choice. The world is at our fingertips, and it's up to us to act accordingly.